what's up you guys? If you're watching this video, you must be interested to find out more about the Flagtail Tiny Bicycle Pump. If you have been watching any of my past videos, do subscribe to me and give me a like that helps me so much because I'm trying to grow the channel and when I grow the channel, I get more stuff to test out and to give you my honest opinion. If you're watching this video, like all my previous videos, none of the product sponsors have seen this video and I just publish it. It is what it is, no filter, this is my point of view, this is my thoughts. And as usual, I only review things that which I feel might be useful to you. So running through the specs of Flex Tail is pretty straightforward. It is, it is stated weighing at 110 gram, but I just weigh this on my weighing scale. And based on my weighing scale, this weighs at 133 grams. Uh, uh, that's because it comes with the silicon case, okay? Okay, the, the Fumpa pump is weighing at a whopping 190 gram. And the Cyplus Mini Cube is at about 112 grams. And if you carry a CO2 and an adapter, it's about 140 grams if you add two CO2s. And this pumps at about one second per PSI. So if you're used to pumping 80 PSI, which is what I do, I normally pump between 75 to 80. You have to pump this for about 80 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna test pump this flex tail baby here with this tire. CC is a 28mm uh, tubeless tire. Now I have zero PSI in this tire. And let's check it out. I'm gonna put this inside the wall, right in. Once I press it in, I always put some slack into it. I notice all electric pump, I need to make sure I have the slack in it. That's a nice beat to it. One, two, three. I can feel the air going in right now. So based on calculation, it is one second for PSI. I assume now that's 15 PSI and let's fast forward this and see how it goes. Done. So we have done 80 seconds of inflation to the tire. I can feel that the tire is really hard and let's see how many PSI we have pumped. If you look at it, uh, I actually put the yellow mark here at 80 PSI. Let me see, uh, 80 PSI right there. And let's see whether do we get 80 PSI. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, it's pretty accurate. Look, it went up to 80 PSI. Um, it's also uh, using a Type-C charging and some key specs as well. You the input for this battery, if you're charging, do note if you're charging pumps like this or small pumps that have small battery, because this battery is only 350 milliampere, always use a slower charger. Don't use your 3.0 quick charge, all those powerful power, direct, 65 watts, 100 watts charger, because you might damage the battery for most of your products like earphones or even like even pumps like this. Okay, what do you expect when you do get a flex tail tiny bike pump? Of course, uh, I'm not going to do unboxing, but just let you know what's inside the box that comes with a very simple dual language uh, user manual, which is in English and in Chinese. And also inside the bag, inside the box, you will have some stuff here. You just pour it all out. You have a cable, you have a Velcro. So this Velcro, apparently what you can do is when you do turn this on, right? Let me turn it on. You can see the light here. Yeah. So it's red. This is a constant red light where, let me just, okay, there you go. This is a constant red light where you can actually tie it behind your bicycle using this Velcro and it acts as an, as an emergency light if you do need one. So that's just one of the added feature that Flexio has with, that other pumps doesn't have. Huh? Whether you use it or not, I personally don't think it's bright enough, but it is there in case you need it. And in this pump, you'll see that if you notice that there's a nozzle here, and also there's a little hole here, I don't know if you can see it in the screen here. So there's actually a little lanyard hole here. Insert your little uh, lanyard hook here, which then you can have it as a little, I think it's a ring finger, whatever. But I won't use this. Okay, it comes with other accessories like uh, this, this little wolf pin here, which you can insert it inside here using this uh, rubber. And then you can convert your pump from Presta to Shredder compatible, which I will not use because I do not use Shredder. Um, Velcro. And also you can use this and 
connect it, connect this into the wall here and pump a ball, which is okay, pretty useful. And if you don't know about press uh, about flex tail, flex tail, flex tail, they do make a lot of pump. They are a pump company. They make a lot of beautiful pumps. Uh, you can check out their website, which I'll put the link below. And there you go. You remove everything here. If that now I can use it as a pump. It's kind of a pump for a ball. I don't have a ball around the house. To turn it on, you just basically have to do a long press, which I've done just now, and to pump it, just click and off. All right. So this, the input is at 1.5 amp, rated power at 40 watts. Uh, the maximum pressure this can pump up to is 100 psi. At full charge, it should be able to last for about 250 seconds. That's about it. And this retail at 99 US dollar. And before I go on about this product, if you're interested in this product, they did give me an affiliate link, which you can click below. You can uh, support me by buying it through the link if you feel that this is the product for you. It works. One second per psi is accurate. Tested this. Uh, the form factor is nice, it's small. What I like about it, it is, um, it is predictable. It does what it does. It, it's nice to have this rear LED light as a rear light in an emergency, but it's not very bright. I won't depend on it. What I don't like about it is this nozzle right here. <laughs> right here. It would be nice if they did not have this nozzle, which is similar to the Side Plus. I think that would be my only wish list. So I'm not too sure why they need the nozzle here. Um, I like the fact that there is some music to it. So that's a nice touch to it. It's a very polished product, if you ask me personally. So I hope this review helps you to decide whether is this the right pump for you. And you let me know. Put a comment below. And if you're curious, I do have the Side Plus next to, next, uh, next to it. And I also do have the Fumpa pump next to it as well. And if you ask me personally, all this pump does the same thing. I would say the deciding factor would be uh, form factor and price point. The, the difference is Fumpa can pump up to 120 PSI and if you need the high PSI, Fumpa pump, the mini Fumpa might be for you but again, this is not cheap. This is totally not cheap. This is like about 120 over US dollar, 230 US dollar so this is definitely expensive and this doesn't come with any silicon case. It's very big, it's very large. Decide to get the flex tail, get it, it works. Uh, I like the fact that it comes with so many accessories especially with the, with the ball pump so this definitely can do more than the Side Plus because Side Plus doesn't come with the ball pump so this has that versatility um, and you ask me would I get the Fumpa uh, personally no because Fumpa is way too expensive way too bulky so which one would you get put your comment below